Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a review of all the Sephora holiday sets that I'm interested in and show you some that I've already bought because they came out so early this year that I already have like a mini collective haul of them, which is probably not good, but anyway. And also, I just found out today that the VIB sale is starting November 1st and today is the 27th of October so I think I'm probably going to buy some things during this sale um, but anyway we'll get into that so um, first I'm going to show you what I bought already starting from this little mini set so this is the Too Faced Better not pout, but if you do, keep it glossy. Rich and Dazzling Christmas Treats Gloss Set. This is so cute. Um, these always come out like really early, the Too Faced like mini lip kits. And sometimes they sell out, so that's why I bought this one as soon as I could. Um, plus I'm really happy that this year it's lip gloss because last year, and I think the year before, they have been their melted matte um, liquid lipsticks, which I do, I like them, but I'm happy that it's something different because I don't need any more of those. Um, so these, of course, are all scented differently. So this first one here, look at how cute these are. Like the detail on this is so cute. This one is Peppermint Bark. And these are their High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. Um, so this one's just a clear lip gloss with like, I guess like silver and gold shimmer from what I can tell. It smells really good. Um, did I need a clear sparkly lip gloss? No, I did not. But this one is so cute. The next one looks like this. It's more like a nude shade. This is Eggnog. And this one, if I remember correctly, because I already opened these. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get the Eggnog scent. I don't drink Eggnog, so maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know. But this, it smells good. It smells like Maybe like nutmeg is what I'm smelling. But yeah, there's that one. This next one, this is what it looks like. It's more like a brownie red shade. This is spice cake. I guess I have, I'm getting like, oh, I don't know, ginger scent. That's the swatch, by the way. So you can see, like, these aren't, like, super opaque glosses. They're more, like, a sheer formula, but that's fine with me because I usually just put gloss on top of uh, lipstick anyway. This last one is my favorite of the scents. Um, it's, like, this pink sparkly one. This is sugar plum yeah this one smells like frosting it's so good I'll show you Ooh, this one has like blue and purple sparkle in it probably won't see that on camera but that's what that looks like I guess I should swatch the other ones. I mean, even though this clear one, I mean, yeah, there's definitely gold reflect to this one. It's really pretty, actually. There. Oh. I'm filming the okay. Close the door. And the nude one, ooh, that's very sparkly. There you go. So yeah, 
these are definitely high shine. So that's that little kit. Um, I forget how much this was. I think it was 34 Canadian, but I can leave the prices below. By the way, let me know, like, do you guys even look at the description box? Because it takes me, like, longer to fill that in than it does to upload the video. Um, and that's even when I don't put that much detail. Like, I don't put links or prices or anything, but, um, if that's something you want, I can always do that. The next set I got is one that I get every year pretty much it's when they do the sephora favorites lip set uh, i don't know if this is the only one they're gonna do because i think every other year it's been much bigger um but this is the sephora favorites give me more lip lip wardrobe and it says tear and share so it's like the idea is you can break these apart and one side is lip balms and one side is lipsticks I find that kind of strange though because if you only gave like one piece of this to someone wouldn't they be like oh, where's the other part I don't know <laughs> that's how I feel like I would much rather get both of these especially because one is only bombs and one is only lipsticks like they're not mixed together I don't know that's just me but I will open this uh, somehow has this open again yes this is so I'll show you the bombs first so that's what it looks like when you take it out very cute so this has a sugar fresh um, tinted lip treatment in rosé I've had this before it's really good the only thing with these is they're so like emollient that if you leave it in your purse or anywhere where it, it might get hot it's gonna melt so be careful because they're pretty expensive also um again i don't remember how much this kit was but obviously it's cheaper to get the set than to buy every product separately um the next one is oh i guess i should show these to you right i don't uh, should i even swatch these but that's what that looks like so there is like a tint to these. I'll do a swatch very gently. Oh, well you can barely tell, but it's there. It's a very light tint. I have a clear one of these already also, which I need to break into. The next product is the Melt. Uh, Kush lip balm which I've been very interested in because everyone's like raving about it this is obviously a mini size it's like a green lip balm but it goes on clear so I'm not even gonna bother swatching it it smells very medicinal um, yeah but apparently this is very good so I'm excited about this one then we have this incredible be a roller baby is that what it's called i don't know incredible roller ball gloss in the shade choose your happy so it looks like this this reminds me of like a product i had when i was younger um i think a lot of us did it's a roller ball gloss um, it says it's enriched with coconut oil, which is good for your lips. So I'm excited to try this, actually. This is a full-size product. Yeah, there's only two full-size products in this whole kit, so I'll tell you what they are. This is one of them. I just want to see how this feels. feel like it's a bit thick but I can't tell if that's just because it's like mixed with my makeup remover wipe and like all the other residue on my hand. Last thing in the bomb side is the Laneige lip sleeping mask. It's 
the uh, original scent. I already have many of this, so I'm not going to open it yet. Um, I'm sure you've heard about it. Everyone loves these, and it's really good. It's not sticky or anything, so I really like that. Um, so then for the lipstick side, it looks like this. The first product here is the only full-size lipstick, but it's a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, which is quite expensive. Um, this is the shade Very Victoria. I'm pretty sure it's named after um, Victoria Beckham. This looks like a really nice color. Um, so it's like that. I'll give you a swatch. Yeah, there's glitter all over my hand though from those lip balms. That's what it looks like. Um, these are, what are these called again? This, the kissing lipstick, I think. Let me see. Um, Matte Revolution. Oh. So I don't think I have one of these because I think the other shade I have is not a matte shade. But it might be. But this is like... Not very opaque for a matte, I'm not sure. But yeah, so you get that. I really like the color though. The next one is a Sephora um, cream lip stain in the shade. I can't read this. Um, 96 Red Velvet. So I don't have this one. I thought I did, but the one I have is more like a true red shade, and this is probably close to what I have on my lips right now. Yeah, that's probably the exact same color. <laughs> um, what I'm wearing is the um, Stila Stay All Day in this shade Rubino, but it is a color that I like, and I like this formula a lot. Um, it's really good. And these are very affordable. This is not even a full size though, but it's still a lot of product. The next one is a mini Fenty Beauty um, Matte Mazelle lipstick. So these ones here, these are really good. I have two other minis. Um, and the one that I have, what is it called? Candy Venom, I think. I wore it out once and it lasted like all night and it was not drying or anything. I really liked it. Um, but this is the shade Flamingo Acid, which is like a purpley shade. Ooh, there it is. Like you see the difference between this and this, like this is way more pigmented, I guess. For a matte lipstick but that's a really nice shade it's like a bright purple so yeah I really like that and the last one is a mini Too Faced I always forget the name of these Too Faced Peach Kiss Lipstick Moisture Matte Longwear Lipstick in Sex on the Peach which is funny and it has little, look how much product though, like really. <laughs> but it has like even little peaches on it, like the full size lipsticks do. And this shade looks really nice. I have three full size lipsticks of these, yeah. So I already know I like them. Yeah, that is a really nice nude shade there. Love it. It doesn't smell as much. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it has a scent. Um, but this is like um, the packaging with the little peach, but they changed the front because Tatcha like sued them because it was the same style or whatever. They used to have like a little peach here, but it's still cute either way. So that's the Give Me More Lip, lip Wardrobe. I can't remember the price, I'm sorry, but 
like I said, I get these every year because I love lip products, if you didn't know. And yeah, I love getting multiple ones if I can. <laughs> and the last set I got is another Sephora favorite set. This is the next big thing. It's brands you need to know. There's two full-size products in here. And this one, the price is actually on it. It was 47 Canadian or 39 US. So I think this is a pretty good deal. 47, yeah. Because even though there's only two full-size products, the other products in here are quite pricey on their own. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me open the box. Um, I wanted to do like a full face of Sephora favorites. So I'm going to probably do it with a lot of these products. Um, because you could almost do full face with these. This is like the main reason I bought this. Is because it had the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. Um, this is a mini product. But this is actually like a product you would buy in like individual if you know what I mean like it's not a mini size of a bigger product it's actually this is a product like in the like Isle of Doom before you get to the Sephora cash and I always wanted this because it swatches so nicely but I just didn't want to pay full price so when I saw it was in this box I was pretty excited so that's the I guess, I mean, that's very metallic for a blush. Um, but this is a blush and highlighting powder. So you could really use it anywhere. You could like blend it into your highlight or use it like a blush topper. But yeah, it's really pretty. It has like a gold shift. And the highlighter is so like, I don't know. Well, it's basically glitter. Can you see my hand starting to get stained but you see it's basically a sheer base of glitter but it reminds me of the Fenty Beauty highlighter I don't remember what it's called right now diamond bomb is that what it is where it's like basically not a base at all and just a shimmer on the face but I don't know I really like it it feels really smooth but I'd have to try it on to see like how I feel about it because I do like my highlight to be more like a glow from within kind of thing but I think I'm gonna like this the next one is oh this is not a full size apparently I'm pretty sure it is though this is the Violet Boss glitter topper in the shade dream so it looks like this. I actually had two glitter toppers from Violet Voss on my wish list because I heard they're like just as good as the Stila. Wow, yeah, that looks really nice. Look at that. It's very like opaque. You could, it's called a topper, but you could even use this as your whole like lid shade. But yeah, these are $21. For the regular size which i'm pretty sure this is a regular size but it doesn't say that on the box um and the stila ones are like 32 dollars so i would much rather get this if they're just as good but yeah i actually really like that very pretty i really like these um like liquid glitter shades because I like to wear a shimmer in most of my looks. Today I just did a matte one, but usually I put a shimmer on my whole lid. And that's like an easy way to do it without getting followed everywhere. The next product is something I always wanted to try also. It's by Milk Makeup. It's obviously a mini guy. But this is the cooling water. So... Basically, it's like a primer, I guess, but you can wear it like whenever you want. Um, it doesn't say much about it on here, but it's basically 
like I said, a primer. So it's a stick, but as you apply it on your face, it's going to turn more into like a watery consistency. I don't want to open it actually because there's a little seal on here and I'm not going to use it yet. But I've really been interested in this because I have really dry skin and I heard that it's good. So now I have this little one to try out. This next product is another reason I got this box. It's a full size um, Kaja. I always forget the name of these. Something like Bento box. Uh, cheeky Stamp Blendable Blush in Feisty. Oh, okay. I thought it had Bento in it. Or the, no, that's the eyeshadow. Yeah, so if you guys saw my other videos, I've used one of these like two times already. Um, I really like them and now I have a second one. So on the lid here you have like a stamp. It's like a, a sponge shaped like a heart and then in the bottom is your blush. It's basically a cushion blush and this shade looked really nice. Wow, I cannot get this out. It's like a bright raspberry shade. Okay, finally. Here, this is the shade here. I'll put some on my hand. Oh yeah, that looks really pretty. I love bright blushes, but especially if they're blendable because I don't want to look crazy either. But you can see like, yeah, it's, I love this formula. I already know because I have one already. And I'm happy they put a different shade in the box because the one that I have is like a really basic shade and this one's a little bit more fun and then I got this artist couture spotlight glitz oh that's the shade it's the diamond lights finisher and spotlight glitz so this is like a multi-use product it's basically a loose highlighter but you could put it like on your eyes on your lips on your face wherever you want for me i think this is too dark for a highlighter so i would use this on my eyes and definitely you need like a glitter glue with something like this can you see that there very shiny Ooh, yeah i mean maybe th this could be a highlighter honestly because it's so like sheer when you blend it out it's kind of like the natasha denona highlighter that i just showed yeah i have two artist couture loose highlighters and they're very intense but i know like they do loose highlighter type products very well so i'm sure that's gonna be good it has like a pink sparkle in it very nice next mini size is the farsali liquid glass radiance make skin serum with hyaluronic acid it's very tiny i've always wanted to try these farsali like dropper products they're very like hype on instagram that's what it looks like um but they're very expensive and apparently like not that good for your skin it, well i guess this one is because there's hyaluronic acid and it's more like a serum product um, I'm assuming it's like illuminating and you put it on before makeup, but there are other ones. They're like bright pink unicorn something or other. Apparently it's like dye. So do you want that on your face? I'm not sure, but I want to try it anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I'm happy I got one of those. And the last product is a full size product. It's a melt lipstick, which I'm very excited about. It's in the shade Old Rose, and these are matte lipsticks. That looks like a really nice shade. Yes, love it. It's like a mauve nude shade, I guess. Very excited about that. I've heard good things about this formula, and there's one I have on my wish list. Um, I forget what the shade is, but it's described as like a Dijon mustard shade which i'm very intrigued by and yeah i'm excited that 
I have one now so I can try the formula first before I get like a crazy color. But yeah, that was everything in this Sephora, the next big thing. Yeah, I think it's pretty good for $47 Canadian. Because you, yeah, you basically get like a full face of things. And these are like high-end brands mostly, so there you go. So those are the three sets that I've gotten already from Sephora and now just to go into my wish list um, I'll show the like, pictures here so you can see what I'm referring to so the first thing I have let me just make some space here I have a Kaja set it's called looking like a snack must-haves collection which is very cute so it's a big box of like all their like favorites kind of thing but they're all full size which I think is very good um, and it includes another one of those cushion blushes but it's in a different shade than the two that I have already so I'm excited about that and it also has a eyeshadow trio that I've been wanting it's um the orange blossom one so yeah I'm probably really gonna get this one so it contains the cheeky stamp blendable blush the mochi glow bouncy highlighter the cushy vibe high pigment lip stain and the beauty bento orange blossom bouncy shimmer eyeshadow trio and you get all those for $48 which I think is pretty good for four full-size products. And all the colors look really nice. So yeah, definitely probably getting that. Um, then I have the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Eyeshadow Palette. This one, well, right now I'm on a palette no buy, but I don't know how long that's lasting because the sale is coming up very quickly and I'm not sure if I should wait till next year to get more palettes because I have so many and if you saw I recently recently posted another Sephora haul where I bought three eyeshadow palettes so yeah I need to calm down but the mini gold palette is only $33 so it's not that bad um, but it is like very tiny if you've seen the Natasha Denona mini palettes. But the reason I really want this one is because I always wanted the Natasha Gold, Natasha Denona Gold palette, the full size one. It was actually in my wish list last year, but I never bought it because I don't think I'm ever gonna spend that much on a palette. But this one has kind of the same vibes, and I swatched it in store and it looked really nice. So. Yeah, I'm just not sure if I'm going to get palettes, but that's definitely on my radar. The next set is the Ula Henriksen ASAP As Smooth As Possible Age Fighting Set. The reason I want this one is because it has three products that are on my wish list already separately. And in the set, you get like... A good deal so I don't think yeah well there's only one full-size product and it's the um, what's it called the good night glow retin alt sleeping cream which I love I had a deluxe size of it that lasted me like for like two weeks and it was amazing so I really want it is it a full size 50 ml? Maybe it's not. Okay, I'm not sure. But in this set, you get the 50 ml Good Night Glow Retinol Sleeping Cream, 65 ml Glow 2 Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner, which I've been wanting as well. I don't really have dark spots, but I feel like. I don't know maybe it's my freckles that makes me feel like my skin tone isn't that even all the time and I think that would maybe help and I've heard really good things about it and I've heard that it actually has results and then you get a 7 ml glow cycle retin all power serum 
which you would use like under the cream. So I'm very intrigued by this. I want to see it in store because I don't know how big these products are because it's still $72 which is a little pricey but just the cream is $65 so I mean it's not like extravagant for Ula Henriksen but I'm not sure we'll see I also have so many other skincare products to get through so I don't know uh, the next one I'm probably not getting just because I don't need it right now but I think it's a good deal um, it's the Mario Badescu the icons drying lotion and rose facial spray duo so every time I have a blemish I'm like oh I wish I had that Mario Badescu drying lotion um, <laughs> because it looks like it just would work really well and I remember when I first started watching YouTube, everyone was talking about that product. I haven't heard a lot about it recently, but yeah, it's basically like a little bottle. Um, it has like powder on the bottom and liquid and you dip a Q-tip inside to the bottom and you get some of the powder on the end and you put it on a blemish and it's supposed to like, you know, clear it up like a spot treatment basically um, but in this set you also get a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and I believe these are both full-size products and it's $25 for both so I think that sounds pretty good because just that little drying lotion is like $21 um, I'm, I think so I don't know I feel like that's a very good deal I just don't need another facial spray right now which is why I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it but yeah that's a one of their holiday sets the next one is another palette it's a Too Faced hot buttered rum palette I love this I'm probably gonna get this one because it's limited edition and the colors just look so pretty yeah it's like basically a neutral palette but with a pop of like mustardy orange which I really love if you guys didn't know <laughs> um yeah and it smells like hot buttered rum I guess I actually haven't seen this one in store I don't know why um but yeah that's $34 and it's the same size as their mini palettes like I have this one here the shake your pom-poms palette it's in the you know the little tin packaging but these are actually really good formulas when especially these little ones they've been really good recently so I think I'm gonna get that one if I do decide to buy any palettes um, the next set is from Tarte. It's the Chrome for the Holidays set. And it's four um, mini size chrome paint shadows. I actually have two of these already. I think I used them both. Yeah, I used them both last year in my holiday looks. Um, I really like the formula. And there's four shades in here that I don't have. It has Citrine Frosé, which I've been wanting. It's on my wish list, the like uh, full size. Um, Wild at Heart and Pink Diamonds. So, I don't know. I don't need them, <laughs> obviously. But they look really pretty. They look like all shades that I would use. And it's $29 for four of them. So sounds kind of good to me um the next thing I'm definitely getting I actually tried to buy this already I was at Sephora and I had it in my hand but the lineup was like ridiculous and I had to go to work so <laughs> I put it back um and I, I don't think it's gonna sell out I feel like Fenty makes so much product like 
they still have last year's holiday sets on sale so that tells me like I don't need to run out and get it but it's the bomb baby 2 mini lip gloss and highlighter set and at first I wasn't going to get this because I thought that the lip gloss was the shade fussy and I already have it in full size but this is actually an exclusive shade um, to this collection and it's limited edition um, what's it called the shade is called sweet mouth and it's described as a shimmering soft pink which sounds really nice and you guys know if you watched my other videos I always talk about the Fenty gloss bomb it's like my favorite um, lip gloss formula I have three of them in full size um, and the highlighter is called sandcastle it's described as a metallic bronze and I was a bit concerned it'd be too dark for me but I swatched it in store and when you blend it out it's more like a champagne bronze like not a bronze bronze if that makes sense so and it has a bit of like a pink shift actually I don't even know why they say it's metallic bronze I didn't find it was bronzy at all but anyway I'm getting that for sure and that's did I say $31 for those two products um, the next thing is the one of the new Ciate Pump Plump Lip Glosses. Um, I haven't seen these in person, so I'm not sure if I want this or not. It's $22, and I want to, I, blah. And I want to get the shade Cherry Pop, because the other two shades just look like I would have them already. Um, and cherry pop looks more like festive so yeah I'm just not sure about how this product actually works I saw like a video and it looked a bit weird like you have to pull down the top to like pump the product out I don't know so I don't know if it's like too gimmicky I would really like to see it in store but I don't think yeah my Sephora doesn't have a Ciate area it just has like a few of their products in like the trending like little end cap things and i haven't seen this so i'm not sure um then the next thing is the makeup eraser i've always been wanting to try um the makeup eraser and they've been coming out with these really cute kits um I almost bought the last one which had llamas on it but this one has sloths on it which is even cuter and it comes with one of those big barrettes that has pearls on it you know like everyone's wearing them again and I've been wanting one I almost bought one at Urban Outfitters but it was way too expensive so in this case in this set you get one of those which is really cute and you also get like a little another little hairpin it's like a gold like anyway you'll see in the picture but yeah I think that looks really cute and the makeup eraser just seems like a good idea I don't like I said in another video I don't really want to buy any more like one use products that you just like you know throw away all the time because that gets to be a lot of excess things like um, makeup wipes um cotton rounds face pads like i use all that stuff and i feel like it's getting a little much so <laughs> yeah this just looks really cute and obviously the makeup eraser you can just put it in the wash and keep using it again and again and i love sloth so there you go and you get all those things for 24 dollars and i think just the makeup eraser is around that price anyway so yeah that sounds like a good deal to me um the next thing is the charlotte tilbury gift of pillow talk lips so this is a kit that has pillow talk the full size lipstick and a mini lip cheat pencil and they're both in pillow talk and i've been wanting to try this forever everyone it's like everyone's favorite shade on youtube that i watch um 
It's just, I find Charlotte Tilbury is very expensive for what it is. Like, this set is $40, and the lip pencil is not even a full size. And I'm just like, really? You couldn't put a full size in there. But, yeah. I don't know. I need to compare, like, what the price would be if you bought a lipstick and a full size lip pencil. Because $40 sounds a lot. I don't know. I'll, that one's on like the back burner. I don't know. Um, oh, and then Sephora came out with these little ornaments that are like the Sephora favorites kits, but in little mini ornaments. And I thought that was so cute. And I want to put them on my tree and give myself gifts <laughs> on my tree. Uh, but that could also double as decoration. So the first one is the Starry Eyed Ornament. And it's $18. It has three products inside. Well, one of them is a sample. Which is a bit like... Come on. But it's the Makeup Forever Artist Color Eyeshadow in I544 Pink Granite. So it's an eyeshadow pan. Like a, you know, loose pan. But I could put it in, I have like a magnetic palette I could put it in. Um, a Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot that like I just talked about in Top Yacht, which is one of the shades that I've always been wanting to try. Um, and a Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Golden Pink. So I find that's really cute. Like I would use all of those products. I wish it was maybe a bit less expensive but I think it's really cute and the packaging is very cute I think that's what's getting me to be honest <laughs> uh, the next thing is another palette and this one I might get this one it's uh, the Pat McGrath Labs Eye Ecstasy Eyeshadow Palette Mini in Sublime um, I swatched this in store and it was really nice it's still $38 though, but you know, Pat McGrath, her full size um, eyeshadow palettes are like $170, I think, which I would never spend on a palette. But this way you get to try the formula and I have seen videos of people that have tried this and they say it's like the same formula. So. I'm excited to hear that because sometimes brands do like these mini size and it's a completely different thing and you're like what is the point of that because you want to try the formula that's why you're getting a mini right anyway so the only thing that's holding me back is this is obviously not a full look in a palette like it's all shimmer metallics um, so it's $38 for something you'd have to use with other eyeshadows at least for the looks that I do but I really want to try Pat McGrath eyeshadows so yeah and the colors look really nice in that oh there's two um, versions of it but the other one is like all color shades which I don't think I need like I have all those shades in other palettes Whereas this one, I do also have those shades in other palettes, but it's something I would use more, if that makes sense. Um, then I have another Sephora Favorites ornament. It's the Party Popping Lip Ornament. This one is also $18. Maybe they're all $18. Um, but it has three lip products in it. It has the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Moon Jelly. A Tarte H2O lip gloss in Getaway and a Nude Sticks Nude Plumping Lip Gla Glace Glace in Nude. And I already know I like the Anastasia lip gloss and the Tarte lip gloss formula because I have other shades of those. And I've always wanted to try the Nude Sticks Glaces. So. I'm probably gonna get this one for sure. Plus it's shaped in a little tree, it's so cute. Oh, and then I just have one more thing. 
the Laneige Kiss Me at Midnight um, set. I don't, I mean, I would only get this because it's limited edition. Because I definitely don't need this right now. I still have another, like you just saw, I have two, now I have two minis of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I actually think I might have three. And in this set you get the full size of the original one and two other minis. But the two minis are limited edition. And they are mint chocolate chip and sweet candy. That sounds really good. But like, do I need this? Definitely not. <laughs> and it's $37, so mm, we'll see about that one. But either way, like, I think these are all pretty cute holiday sets. And even if I don't get them, maybe you guys, like, saw something that you might want. I don't know. Um, I might do another video since, like I said in the beginning, um, it's the VIB sale again. I might do a recommendations video if I can get it up in time because it's already the 27th and now I have two videos to edit so we'll see but anyway I hope you liked this video and if you did give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one bye